بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد. We gave the example of how the Maliki completes the prayer. And we use the Maghrib prayer. Um, so if you caught one rak'ah of Maghrib and then how would you finish? So let's give another example about if you caught one rak'ah of Isha, for example. Okay, so you caught one rak'ah with the Imam. You have three more uh, rak'ah for sure. So obviously, um, when the Imam ends, you're going to stand up and complete the prayer. <coughs> so that second rak'ah, you're going to recite Surah Al-Fatiha uh, out loud. And the uh, a surah after that out loud. And then you go about your, your uh, rak'ah there. And you're going to do tashahud. Um, uh, this being the second rak'ah. Your second rak'ah. You're going to do tashahud here. <clears throat> right. So note that, that difference uh, compared maybe to other uh, madhahi for example. Right. Because uh, we're doing the qada uh, bil aqwal and the bina uh, bil af'al. Right. Because we're, we're, so we're joining these two principles of qada and bina. Uh, which is uh, one of the uh, mufradat again that the Malikiyah do where they join these two uh, ways okay so you can recite out loud Surah Al-Fatiha in that second rakah and another Surah Surah Al-Ikhlas for example um, uh, obviously not you know considering right now uh, what's uh, mustahab uh, to recite in Isha for example Tawasut Al-Mufassal but um, you know just a, a Surah uh, Surah Al-Ikhlas for example um, um, yeah, so Surah Al-Fatiha, uh, that Surah out loud, the Shahud, right? Obviously, the you know, not the you know, full like uh, all the way till the end, you're just gonna do you know, until the uh, you know, Tahatulillah, Zakiatulillah, right? Just that that part uh, that we know, uh, the one of Amr al Khattab, you're gonna do that part, the halfway part, and then you're gonna stand up, <coughs> right? So, this is where it might be uh, tricky for some. So um, when you stand up uh, after the tashahud, obviously uh, you say Allahu Akbar and you, you continue that, that. It's going to be your third rakah. It's going to be your third rakah. You're going to recite Surah Al-Fatiha out loud and a, 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 a surah after that out loud. Right? Because again, we're joining these two principles. So that third rakah, you're going to have Surah Al-Fatiha and another Surah both out loud. Because again, Isha, uh, we have a recitation that's out loud. All right, so this will be different in um, um, uh, like Asr and Dhuhr, which we can talk about at a later time. But <clears throat> So note that. So Surah Al-Fatiha, another Surah out loud. Uh, and then you're going to go about your, your rakah. So note the shahud here. Right, um, note the shahud here. Um, so you'll, you'll do your third rakah. Right, then you, for the fourth rakah, uh, or it's going to be your fourth rakah of the prayer, you'll do uh, Surah Al-Fatiha silently. <clears throat> right, you'll do Surah Al-Fatiha silently, that's it. And then you end your prayer with Tahatulillah, Zakiatulillah. Right, and then, of course, you, you say, um, you do the um, salawat uh, on uh, the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, uh, until the end. So, uh, and then you'll end your prayer there. <clears throat> right, so... Uh, note the differences there um, again, just quickly. Um, so the second rakah, you're going to when you after you, you complete that one rakah with the imam, you caught ruku for example with the imam at least. You caught that one rakah, so you have that jamaah. So you have three more rakat. So the second rakah, fatiha and surah uh, out loud. Then you're gonna do tahiyat. Uh, then you're gonna get up um, for the third rakah. It's gonna be uh, fatiha and uh, surah out loud. Uh, no tahiyat here. A uh, fourth rakah is going to be Fatiha only silently, and then you end your prayer to Hayat, 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 and then you'll end your prayer. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best.